In today's video, we are going to learn how to use Microsoft Copilot within Word. I am using the paid version of Microsoft Copilot Pro, so even if you have Microsoft 365, you won't have access to Copilot unless you pay for it. In this video, we are going to cover a range of different things, including creating and drafting uh, documents with Copilot, editing and transforming those documents, generating summaries, talking with Copilot, and so much more. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up, and if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. Before we get into creating and editing documents in Word with Copilot, I wanna navigate and show you how to navigate Copilot to help you get started. The first thing you'll notice is that when you have Copilot installed, on your Word document, you're gonna have a little Copilot symbol here on the left-hand side, which you can also access with the keyboard shortcut of Alt and I and this will bring up the Copilot draft dialog box, or if you have a document in front of you uh, with text, you have the editing pane that pops up. The other way of accessing Copilot is in your ribbon here under Home. On the right-hand side of that, you see we have the Copilot symbol, where we can open up Copilot as well, and this gives you a much more in-depth way of accessing and working with Copilot. I wanna actually look at this right now, because this is where you actually get a lot more features with Copilot. The first thing here is that it gives you a prompt of here's a few things that you can try, such as asking a question, writing and summarizing the document. And then of course, depending on your document, it will give you some default prompts. Down the bottom is where you can ask a question, prompts and work with the document. Of course, you don't just have to type into it. You can also use the microphone to dictate and talk to Copilot. But one thing I recommend everyone should focus on when they first start using Copilot in Word is the view prompt booklet right here. If we open this up, this actually gives us a few ways of working with Copilot better by giving us some default prompts. You can either create, and this will give us a few great examples of how to get started with prompting. You'll see things like write a project proposal, add a paragraph, draft a business plan, and you'll see here what it's giving you is actually keywords to make sure your prompt is as specific as possible to give you the best possible outcome. Using keywords like a proposal or an outline or a paragraph, and then of course some more ideas as to what you could write, helps you make better prompts, which in turn increases at the output from Copilot. If we go back as well, it has some questions you can ask it about uh, what Copilot can do with the document, and we're gonna go through this later in the video. And of course, down the bottom is a view more prompts. If we open this up, this is an amazing tool with Copilot where it gives you a range of different prompts that you can use with Copilot, and it's a great way to get started. So I'd recommend familiarizing yourself with this. There is my computer's in dark theme, but there's a little save prompt icon as well in the bottom right hand corner of each prompt. And then you can filter this by going through and using just your saved prompts because you think they're really cool. And you can sort it by categories of ask, create, and understand. Uh, and then of course, if you want even more information, there is a link here to Copilot Lab, and this will take you outside to an external web link where you'll learn more about Copilot on the Copilot website to give you even more resources to get started with Copilot. So when you start using Copilot in Word, I would recommend playing around, especially with this view prompt section, to really understand how you can maximize your utilization of Copilot. So now it's time to get started and creating our first document with Copilot. There are two ways that we can do this. Of course, you can use the little Copilot symbol here with Alt and I, and this is gonna ask us to draft something up. There is as well the button where you can reference a file. We're not gonna use that feature in today's video, but we will have a video on that in the future. And I'm gonna show you two ways to start drafting. The first one here is using this prompt button, and it says, describe what you'd like to write, including notes and outlines and Copilot can generate a draft to get the help get you started. So I'm gonna say, create a business case for deploying Copilot to all our sales team members. Make sure to uh, talk about the benefits of Copilot um, as well as some possible issues that we may need to overcome. So I'm asking it to create a uh, business plan, sorry, uh, for deploying Copilot, and I'm simply gonna hit generate. 
This is going to take a few seconds to start generating, but it's gonna go create a draft for us right now. Of course, the more detailed information you put in here, the better the output the first time around. What you can see here is that it is starting to draft it out for us and it is already formatting that document as well. It has a heading that we can see that's being created. It has some side subheadings and some dot points. And the cool thing is it gives you this dialog box where you can either keep the business plan, it's gonna save it. We can of course ask it to regenerate. So after we've read through it, we can ask it to change it around. It might not be perfect or we can uh, change the tone of it. For example, we can say make it more formal, make it more fun and interactive. I'm going to say make it more formal, just as the prompt asked us to. And this will change the wording around. So the great thing is we, a few seconds ago, had nothing in regards to a business plan for deploying Copilot. And now we've already got a document uh, to get started with already. So it's quite amazing that it really helps you get that first draft up and running within a few minutes. So from here, because we've done two versions now, we can of course use the previous and forward draft button to go through and change different versions. Uh, if you, you can ask it to regenerate again, or you can make more professional tones, anything like that. You can choose to keep it, or you can choose to delete it. Uh, I'm gonna say keep draft number two, and our page is already here. So this has already given us basically a plan on a page within a couple of seconds. The other way of working and getting a draft out is using the co-pilot in the top right hand corner. I'm just gonna jump to a new page to show you what that looks like now. So this is where it gives you a bit more, this is where it gives you a few more prompts and this is actually pulling information about that document. Uh, so it's gonna ask you, you can do things like say write about, change, summarize the document, ask a question, all that sort of stuff. I'm actually gonna go into our view prompt section. I'm gonna ask it to create. And then here we can ask it to create the exact same thing. I'm gonna give it a very similar prompt just to show you what the two items look like side by side. Write the business proposal for giving each sales team member access to Copilot. Make sure to cover business benefits and possible issues we may need to overcome. I know I've already done this, but I wanna show you the difference between creating the document straight in Word and of course, creating it on the right-hand side in Copilot. The cool thing with uh, creating it on the right-hand side with Copilot is you can interact with the document a little bit more. You can ask it more questions and get it to change things around um, before it actually goes into the final format, which is in Word here. So you can see it's pulling things together just like it did uh, on Word. And if I wanted to import this into Word, I'd simply go through, I would copy that document. I'd hit copy down the bottom here. And then this is a Word feature, but I could right click and under the paste options, I could choose paste with the for source formatting, merge the formatting or keep it as plain text only. I'm just gonna go merge formatting. It's gonna drop it in and you can see it's dropped in that proposal as well. I'm just gonna undo that very quickly. And on the right hand side, let's continue working with this before it's ready. And we'll say, make it shorter and add a bit of humor too. So now where we could have read through it and we said, hey, that's, that's good, but we wanna change it around just a little bit before we drop it into Copilot, or sorry, before we drop it into our Word document. The cool thing is you can talk with Copilot here and you can adjust it to whatever tone you actually think works well for the document you're creating. So I'll copy that, let's paste it in again, and you'll see the document here is a lot shorter uh, and of course it has a few more jokes and humor in there as well. Uh, so that's quite cool. And now I'm just gonna close Copilot for a second because I wanna work with it on Word. And I'm gonna show you a caveat right now, an issue with Copilot or a feature that's not there, I should say, not an issue. If I highlight this piece of text, I can then go to Copilot and ask it to rewrite it. And it will do the same thing. It will generate a new draft because this is just essentially a plain piece of text that we've dropped in. And it's also giving you a warning here that it may not have given you a high piece of, um, of output, but that's okay because 
you can go through, you can check it, you can adjust it if you want. And then of course you can choose to insert it, you can regenerate, you can change the tone of the, um, of the rewritten piece, or you can simply go replace and it will change it here. But that's working with just plain text. If for example, we were working with these dot points and we tried to do the same thing, where we ask Copilot to re rewrite it, you get this error saying that, uh, please only select plain text paragraphs. Copilot currently does not support tables and other non-text elements. So when you are working with Copilot in Word, it says currently, so I'm guessing in future it will be able to work with dot points, but right now it can only adjust plain text, but not dot points as is. So that's just a little caveat that I wanted to share with you. For now, I'm gonna grab all this and delete that document here. And I'm actually going to select our entire page one, our business proposal. I'm gonna right click and go down to Copilot. From here, I'm gonna ask it to visualize this entire page as a table. And I find this is actually really handy because it is another way of displaying information and summarizing it for you. Uh, at first I thought this wouldn't be great, but the more I play with it, the more I realize visualizing a document as a table makes it so much easier to understand and digest. Uh, see, it's broken it down here in a simple table to understand. Of course, you get that same box to keep it, regenerate it, delete it, or change it around. Let's ask it to regenerate one more time just to see what this looks like. So you see, it'll just make some changes to it. And then of course, we can use our draft to jump between which we find is most relevant. And for now, I'm gonna say number one and simply go keep it. So a few minutes ago, we had nothing and now we have 522 words in two pages of why we should use Copilot for our sales team, talking about the benefits, the issues and possible solutions as well. Of course, with it being a table, you kind of you can move it around and adjust it just like you would in Word. Just for the neatness of this page, I'm gonna drop it down to page number two and I'm gonna go down the bottom. I'm gonna select on Copilot here and then it's gonna say, describe what you'd like to write. You can, of course, put something in. It does have a button that's called Inspire Me and it says Copilot uses the document context to draft an idea for you. So let's actually see what's gonna pop up with the Inspire Me section. So right now we didn't actually give it a prompt. We've just asked it to give us something that it thinks could be, um, could be useful for us. So this talks about the challenges and opportunities of using a text generated assistant for sales emails. And that's use the information from above to create an inspire me section. Uh, of course, you can choose to keep, delete and adjust this. For now, I'm actually gonna go delete because I wanna show you another very cool thing with Copilot. Uh, I'm gonna open up the Copilot editor on the right hand side because as you can see, this gives us more things that we can try more prompts. And I love the one that says summarize this document. If I select on summarize, it's gonna read through that document and create a summarization of that document for us. So this could be a 10, 20, 30 page document. Being able to summarize and pull out the key points means that you can quickly understand that document and get the key points straight out of it. So you can see here, it has quickly grabbed a summary of the document, breaking it down into proposals, benefits, possible issues, and solutions. From here, we can say, make the summarization shorter or any prompt you want to give it. And you can see here, it has made that summarization slightly shorter. I'm gonna copy it one more time and then I'm gonna paste it straight into the document. The last tip I wanna give you with Copilot in Word for today is actually working with this pane here on the right hand side. You can of course choose to use the drop down menu and move and resize the Copilot pane or you can grab it from the top and move it around your window so it doesn't always have to be stuck on the right hand side. Of course, if you get it and press it against the right hand side, it will snap there and same if you do it to the left, but you can grab it, move it around and using the corners of the box, adjust the size of Copilot as well. And there you have it. That is how you can use and get started with Microsoft Copilot in Word. In this video, in a short amount of time, we actually created a two page document starting with a blank page 
We used Copilot to create and draft that document. We then edited it and transformed it, creating tables and editing that text. We generated summaries and we also talked with Copilot through the chat section. Of course, to get the most out of Copilot, you have to give it the right prompts. So I would recommend spending some time in that prompting section that I went through at the start of this video. Let me know what you think of Copilot in the comment section down below. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're on a supercharged raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.